let me think about it. Give me one second before we ask the question. Entanglement is this weird phenomena. The most uh, fundamental form of correlations in the world. They're an object that started off in the same little pod or atom or whatever it was, and now they've burst apart. The two photons are only related to each other, and they're not disturbed by anything else in the universe yet. And so they are completely entangled, meaning you can treat them as a single object, and you have to treat them like a single object. Quantum mechanical particles somehow still keep the memory of the origin where when their states are, are correlated with each other. So that even when they are separated very far away, their states are still correlated. If something points in a specific way, it has to point in another way or it has to point exactly in the same way. So we call this a correlation. And entanglement is correlations on a quantum level. And the type of correlations you can get is fundamentally stronger than if you just have classical objects. They can be used to transmit quantum information. They can be used to do a lot of quantum tricks like quantum games, quantum strategy, uh, in a way that's beyond uh, what we can do uh, in the classical world. Um, so it's like uh, that you have a twin and they're born together and they, they, they look the same. They have a lot of attributes that are related to each other. But then later in life, they might be separated far away, but then they still keep this relation throughout the years. And then they have a special way of communicating maybe uh, with each other. We want to utilize this thing that they're really coming from the same thing. We want to utilize that to make more precise measurements. And you can by exploiting the fact that there's really no difference between the two. Imagine a book which contains many pages. And if it's an ordinary book, it's written in bits, there's writing on every page, you can read the pages one at a time, and every time you read another page, you learn more about the content of the book. Now suppose this book though is a quantum book. If that book is very highly entangled, if the pages are entangled with one another, there's lots of information in the book, but it's not stored in the individual pages. It's stored almost entirely in the correlations among the pages. And if you want to read the book, you have to collectively observe many pages at once. So that's the way I look at it, the essence of quantum entanglement, that you can have a quantum system which stores a lot of information, but when you look at the parts of the system one at a time, you can't see the information at all. It's a very um, precious thing. It's, it's very, very hard to do because it's very uh, sensitive. So you have two quantum particles in your lab and you try to entangle them and something else flies by, even just close by, it's gonna be gone. It's, it's like, it, it doesn't like, you know, it doesn't like company this entanglement. It wants just to be by itself. The more things that we can entangle, and the more things that we can keep from getting disturbed by the rest of the world, we just keep winning and winning. And every year as we get better and better and better, we're starting to do things which are almost, uh, you would have considered them magic just 50 years ago.